So I recorded a what's in my toolbox kind of video. Uh, somebody in the comment section below, like uh, maybe like a month ago or like two weeks ago maybe, uh, he commented that they would like to see that kind of video, like what I actually have in my toolbox and what I'm working with. He said it'd be pretty interesting. So I got around to filming it. You know, I just go and open every drawer in my toolbox and uh, yeah, and I just show you guys what I have and where I got it from kind of. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. I don't have a whole lot of tools, but I have a pretty decent amount of tools. Tools are actually pretty expensive, you know, and it took me a while to like rack up the amount of tools that I have now. But I'm gonna continue to buy more, purchase more, you know, I have a few a few items that I still need to purchase and then I want to purchase, you know, but it'll come with time. Everything comes with time. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll see you guys there. So this is my toolbox right here. Well, I bought both of these and they came in a set. This big one is a uh, 55 by 41 by 29, I believe. But this is the, my stationary one. I don't really, I just store stuff in here. But this is my roll around, the one that I use more, the little one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. You know, I have my flashlight up top, up top, which has a magnet, and it actually opens up to give me like a bigger, a bigger, a wider area of light. And then I have my sanding blocks here on the side, tucked away, ready to be used. I'm missing two of those, but I'll find them later on. And then I have some wireless Bluetooth earphones that I use whenever I'm trying to hear music while I'm working. And some protective gear, of course. I have my glasses, my clear glasses, my earplugs, and my, my gloves. And then this came with my window tint kit when I did my lights on my Mustang. And I use that to put clear decals and protectors and stuff like that. My erase marker to outline or give me like a guideline of where I'm going to start and stuff just mark all over cars a box cutter and I have a speaker and I have a charger here for it with a aux cable but that's pretty much up top I like to keep the t I like to keep the top part clean so I can later put stuff on and have easier access in here as you can see this is my power tour drawer and my socket drawer right here I have uh, eight running all the way all the way up to 19 with my deep socket and my stubby sockets. And down in the corner I have my pick set, which I actually let somebody borrow one, but I don't know what they did with it. And the guy doesn't work there anymore, so whatever. This is my 14 millimeter, I mean my 14 volt 3 8 impact drive. And this is my 14 volt screwdriver gun. This one's my, my favorite one. It's an 18 volt, stronger than the little one. And this is my half an inch, the one that busts nuts off. This is my favorite gun here. It's, it's pretty big. It does a, does a nice job. I compared it to the Snap-on one. It actually does better, I think. And that's my Snap-on 3.8 um, battery-powered ratchet. And these are my panel clip removing tools. You know, this is what I use a lot, actually, often. This is like a must-have. I have my bigger one there and my smaller tip there. I'm gonna put them side by side so you guys can see the difference. But you can see the area on it, on the tip is bigger than the one that I have on top of it. And then I have my longer one for my harder to reach areas, which is that big one right there. And then over here, I just have a bunch of random stuff tucked away in the corner. I didn't know where else to put it. And I wanted to have it somewhere like for easy access and nice, nice to reach. And I have my drill bits here ranging from 1 fourth all the way to half an inch and my screwdriver switchable tip then I have this chuck key oh I have this chuck key that switches from 3 8 all the way to 1 4th really love that and my 7 millimeter and deep and stubby socket and a random 10 millimeter and an extension I just have those right there because I don't have nowhere else to put them but that's it for the first drawer guys let's go ahead and check out the second one let me get a zoom out and this is my second drawer here. This is where I have my gear wrenches. These are really nice, you know. They they work as a they have gears so that you can go back and forth. And this is my one fourth sockets from deep from one from five all the way to thirteen I believe. And this is my swivel sockets 
from five all the way to 15 those are badass you know it's better when like you need a you can't fit a regular socket in then i have my three eight ones ranging from 10 all the way to 19 i wish they would have gone to eight on this one but oh well then after that let me put all of this back i try to keep it the most organized that i can but sometimes it gets pretty tough but that's what i have here and I have it all cluttered up. Well, this is right here. This is my my what is that? My extensions ranging from one fourth all the way through half an inch. And then I have more sockets here, metric and standard, and a little one fourth ratch with two extensions. But I like to keep it organized and try to at least. This is my cutter pins for cutting welding pins and cutting like wire and stuff pretty handy i love this little set it was pretty cheap it was like 20 bucks and it comes with this interchangeable tips with a little ratch and for harder to reach areas and you just put them in there and you put them and it works as a ratch it's pretty badass it's pretty cool and then that one was just hanging loose i didn't want to lose it so i put it in there it's not part of that one but that's in this drawer the here then i have some non-marring panel clip remover tools i need to get some new ones because these are broken and kind of old then i have a uh, this little l tool that lets me get into harder to reach areas with my impact with my screwdriver gun it's pretty badass too then i have this 3 8 ratchet and this 1 4 screwdriver you just put the any 1 4 in there and it works then again i have another one of these I forgot where I got this one, but I think it was like five bucks just for this one. I think it was at uh, O'Reilly's or or AutoZone. And then some random wrenches. Over here, I have my tire, my tire lug nut sockets. I'm missing one. I don't know what happened to it, but I don't really use that one, so it's not too bad. And then I have this master set from allens to inverted torques to tamper proof torques it's pretty it's a pretty badass set this is my regular one as you can see so my regular one here i think another regular one and then i'm about to show you guys the tamper proof ones these are pretty badass because if you don't have these you can't take the the nut out but i have that and inverted torques like i said and allens and hex keys all kinds of stuff all kinds of good stuff and I cluttered this toolbox more because this is the one that I use most and this is the one that I roll around with me all the time So everything that I really need is in here And then in my third drawer as you can see here, you know, I have my sander my mini my mini DA sander my This thing right here. What is this a riveter and it has a swivel head to it, which is pretty badass Oh, let me oh, 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 there you go. I got it which swivels and you can just swivel back and forth it's pretty cool i just got that not too long ago and then this is my cutoff wheel and then i have two grinders here two right angles a huskery brand which is pretty badass you know i bought it at autozone for 50 bucks i mean uh home depot and i got this dremel back there then this plastic riveter and this emergency brake line remover tool and some vice grips in the corner and this is like the bigger head to the grinder and like I said some vice grips but that's it for this drawer right there let's go ahead and go to the big one I don't really have too much on the big one here but I'll show you guys what I do have this one is just where I put paperwork decals and my extra gloves and my file in the corner but not too much there this is the one that I'm working on filling up and here, this is where I keep my wallet, my keys, my, I got two extra flashlights and uh, my receipts from like Snap-on and Matco and all those other guys in Cornwell. And this is where I just have an extra DA pad and all the attachments to remove the, the heads off of the grinders and the oxygen, an O2 sensor, an extra wrench, you know, some pens. This is like miscellaneous stuff right here. Then here, there's nothing in there. In here is where I put my backpack. Then I have my orbital sander that works as a grinder as well. 
and those soft sanders that I bought and I haven't even used because you need the actual sandpaper for those which I was kind of disappointed in that my regular ones don't fit then I have my dust, my dust mask tucked away some oil for my tools for my air tools in here I have the big daddy sawzall I'm about to show you guys with some bags well this right here is a tie rod and removal tool it's just like a big pipe with little wrenches on the on the tips interchangeable wrenches and I have that right there I haven't really used this much but whenever you need it you need it which kind of sucks because there's some tools that you don't really need but when you need them you need them so I guess you kind of do need them but they're like rare well at least for body men if you're a mechanic you'll be using these often and like I said the big daddy saws are right here that'll cut through metal like butter I love that thing and then I think on the top drawer let me, oh, let me try and tuck all the way this all of this back in I have pry, my pry bar set from the smaller to like a medium sized one and then I have some welding paper and then I bought this at Home Depot pretty badass set metric and standard half an inch sockets I don't know what they range from I think they range from 8 to like 27 or 28 something like that I don't remember but it's like a 65 piece 64 piece it's pretty badass and for the price you know you can't complain it was 200 bucks compared to like snap-ons you it's outrageous then I have my tire gauge a spreader some cutoff wheels a tip this little plier that works on boot clamps for like BMWs and stuff they're like it's a special kind of one some more gear wrenches some more sockets that I don't use and some pliers a whole bunch of different type of needle nose pliers and then this is where I just keep my other stuff and then this is my last and final drawer guys right here I have my hammer and dolly set and then I have my sawzall and some charging cables and my what is this my my drill and then a half an inch air power then a 3 8 air power tool and in this blue box right here I have my air hammer set my air hammer kit with my air hammer and all my different tips for my different kinds of metals and it has five tips there then I have some more ear protection my sunglasses some random papers I have my three inch uh, grinder for like door skins and stuff you guys seen that on the video then I have my seam sealer buster and then a beanie and my longer pry bar that didn't fit in the bottom and that's about it guys so that's pretty much it guys um let me know what you guys think and uh don't forget to rate comment and subscribe sorry if the video felt a little like rushed or whatever but i'm trying to like make it as short as i can but it's kind of hard because i have to cover everything that's in there but yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys around peace